What's up, people? So today we're going to be doing a Surugaya haul. Surugaya is like a second-hand anime goods store, and it also sells games. It's kind of like a mandarake if you've ever ordered from mandarake. I got a lot of little things for this little haul of mine, and as you can see, they're all wrapped up very nicely in plastic. <laughs> The first thing I got was this cute Tsuritama clear file. For those of you who don't know what Tsuritama is, it's a fishing anime. It's such a cute, heart-feeling anime. I especially love this guy. Tsurugaya has a lot of DJs for this one. But yeah, it's really cute and, you know, it's a clear file. Love these boys. The next thing I got was this Little Witch Academia ending theme song CD. I got it as a gift for my sister. She's gonna be really happy listening to it while she's driving. I also got my sister a Reagan button with a dimple. I really don't like these types of clips because they're kind of hard to put on. But it's really cute. It's a really small mob psycho button. Good boys. You know what? They're not even boys. They're suspicious men. Let's go for that Mob Psycho Season 3, y'all. The next thing I got was something for myself. I got Akane from Psycho Pass in a little rabbit Alice in Wonderland costume. A lot of Psycho Pass merch has Kogami on it. Like, he's good and all. Like, he's hot, but her. I love her. She's such a good protagonist. So, I was really happy to get this one. I got another little figure of her that I have to put together. And this is how best girl Akane looks complete. She is so adorable. I love this lady. It's hard having really good female protagonists and she's definitely one of my favorites. Here she is next to her Alice in Wonderland version. <laughs> the styles are so different but she's cute in whatever style they have her in. The quality of these figures are really good. You can't even tell that they're second hand. Next, I got this Leo Promare puppet keychain. Yay! It says Promare. Oh, he's so very small. <laughs> These sell for like 20 bucks. It's crazy. And I got it for like $4. Really good price for a secondhand one. He's so cute. This one is for my sister. And his little dangling feet. His feet look like mints. They're so cute. And his little round hands and the details on his face are so cute. This is the Leo that we all know and love. The small and strong man that Leo is. And I also got Galo to go with him. Whenever boyfriend merch is released, you gotta get both of them. You can't get one without the other. Look at his little stringy arms that are so cute. Galo and Leo are so adorable. I'm still shook how these sell for like 20 bucks. Or like $15 each. It's crazy. This is a funny way to put, <laughs> to put your finger in. But yeah, here he is. I'm basically putting my finger in their schlongs, you know? Nothing out of the ordinary here. It's just a normal day in the grill household. Here they are on my fingers, the good old boys. They're sitting on my hand. This is so adorable. Whoever came up with these are geniuses i should have gotten the banana fish ones when i had the chance but these are so cute i never want to let them out of my hands you know what the best thing about these things is that you can reenact the scene from the movie and you can make them gifts and then i randomly got this cute cat blush i thought it was gonna be smaller but it's actually pretty big i don't know where it's from i just thought it was really cute so i just added it to my cart and let me just say it's the cutest thing ever! It's so cute! It's apparently from the Little Marble Littles. I am not familiar with this line, but these are the other designs based on what we're seeing here. And this is a little cat thing. And it's secondhand. You know what? A lot of secondhand stuff is really good. The last things in my haul, and the main reason why I bought stuff from Surugaya was because I wanted these cute 
Tiger and Bunny plush keychains. This one says Tiger on his foot, and this one says Barnaby. I love them so much. I love Tiger and Bunny. It's one of my favorite animes, so of course I had to get these. And they're in great condition. They are very adorable. Like, come on, you got Kotetsu and Barnaby as their little animal kin? You can't get any cuter than this. The details are not bad. Kotetsu can totally fit on my hand. And so can Barnaby! This is definitely one of my favorite purchases from Surugaya. I will definitely be buying from them again. And then I have another secondhand figure that shall be coming soon, which is actually part of this video. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at all this plastic. It's crazy. And then it's just gonna go to a landfill. Ah, <sighs> this is so sad. And you just can't help feeling powerless. These are my sad vibes for today. Remember everyone, pay attention to that plastic usage of yours. And with the power of technology, I can do this! Whoa! When did this box get here? <laughs> so yeah, for some reason, it was cheaper to buy the items separately. So the haul that you just saw before was cheaper than me getting it with this item that you see. So yeah, kind of weird. It would almost have cost me like $300 with everything combined. But it came out almost to be $200 buying them separately, which is way lower in cost compared to buying them together. So that's kind of weird. Let's see what is inside the box. All right, guys, I got this cool Osomatsu-san figure. I wanted a figure with all the brothers. So I was looking for like small individual ones, but then I bumped into this one which has all of them in one, so it saved me money. It looks cool. And what you are seeing is a reference to the first Osomatsu-san opening. And you know what? I do appreciate Surugaya for making sure that everything is in great condition. They really do wrap it up really well. So this is how the box looks. For some reason, there's like this strong piece of glue on the bottom of the box. So unfortunately, the figurine box touched it. So I had trouble trying to get it off. That's some strong glue right there. The inside of the box is so cute. It has stars in it and it says the non-skill painted figure of Matsu-san. They're so cute. And then Jujimatsu has a little thing over him. But yeah, this is how they look. They look amazing. They're all popping out of the head. You got Osomatsu, Karamatsu, Choromatsu, Ichimatsu, Toromatsu, and Jushimatsu. They're so cute, it's so colorful. And it's really small. It's actually a small figure, like, I have small hands. So this figure pretty much fits between the two of them. But it's still really cool. It's cool how you see the exaggerated airflow here. I don't know what to call this, but... You see it here in the ears, the nose. And then all the dudes just being unique. The bottom says Akatsuka, which is the creator of Osomatsu. And it also says Osomatsu-san, and it's made in China. I believe this one is made by Good Smile Shanghai, and they did such a really good job at making this figure. It's so cute. You can see the silhouettes from the back. This is a great figure. I really love it. It's just so dynamic. And I love how it shows all the sex triplets personalities through this figure, so... There they are. The useless neats that we have all come to love. I'm actually surprised also Matsu-san isn't actually that popular over here in the West. It's more popular in Japan, so you never really see anyone talk about it. It's probably because of the humor. It's similar to Gintama, so you guys should totally give it a chance. It's really colorful and funny if you like comedy animes. I really love Osomatsu-san, and I'm just really happy that I was able to find this one. The retail price for the unopened figure is like $100, which isn't too bad. For the price I paid for this one, it was actually really good. Except shipping. Oh, that shipping. Shipping is expensive with Tsurugaya, since they only use DHL or EMS. So just be wary about how much you're going to spend. Like I mentioned earlier about 
getting both of my packages together. This was an overall great haul, everyone. Here's the information for the total cost of everything combined. I just added everything up. And you know what? It is cheaper compared to when I added this one to my cart with the stuff in the first box. So yeah, pretty happy with that. And I will definitely be buying from Tsurugaya again because there are a lot of cool stuff on there that I really want to get for an affordable price. So we'll see where that takes me. Thanks for sticking around, everyone. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!